All right, so I have uh, more season seven predictions. It's funny, as I was driving home, this really popped up like a like a lit light bulb on, on my brain, like ding! This would work really well. This would kind of make up for some people who were upset with the season, the season finale. Now, let's say it's doesn't it doesn't jump right to the death. Now, for this death to be, this is gonna be a pretty huge death. So, with that being said, since we didn't get to see that much screen time with some characters like Gwen and Daryl. Um, let's, let's, I mean, let's say AMC gives us that in the beginning of the season premiere. Where we get some screen time with Daryl and Gwen, Rosita, Michonne, and then we pick up. And then the scene starts with after Dwight shoots Daryl in the back, and like in the shoulder. And, um... And then we just follow them from there, leading up to where they're in line with Rick and everyone else to meet Negan. And, um, and you know, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, AMC would be stalling just to make us, you know, wait till October just for them to do that. I mean, I mean, they should just jump right to the death. I mean, making us wait that long. Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, think about it. I mean, wouldn't that be a, a cop out to you guys if. Let's say Gwen is gonna die or Daryl and then they just left it like that like in that 90 minute run And then that's the only time we see them is at the end and then for them to be killed off like that And at the very beginning of the season premiere, wouldn't you feel kind of cheated? Like, okay, um, this is a very important character. Why do you have to kill them off like they're nothing? I mean, come on! Their death should be taken much more seriously. There should be a much more respectable way for them to go out. And that is to have them to have some more screen time with us. Like where AMC is generous enough to give us that last those that last moment with them. You know, like where we see them for a good while and you're and then you get worried like holy shit. You know, the person that we're gonna lose is in that van and you know it's within, you know, Dwight's grasp. <laughs> it's gonna be Daryl, it's gonna be Gwen, I don't wanna lose any of them, you know, you know, let that you know, let that affect you. And um and for you know Negan to be in the worst the worst character, like the the most threatening character in the Walking Dead history, um, he has to have that much impact on us just as much as he did Rick. And let's face it, come on. Breaking Rick Grimes is no easy task. And Negan did that. I don't think any villain has done that. I mean, to the point where Rick is shaking and and flinching at Lucille every time he he would he would swing it or point it at him. He would you know or point her at at Rick every time he would swing that bat around and point it at Rick. He would you know flinch. Um, if you paid attention, he would be like <gasps> and look away. <laughs> um, and he's covered in sweat and shaking, and his eyes are all out. And he's like, we haven't seen him that terrified since the pilot. I mean, no villain, no human threat has done that. No human threat has ha has made him that terrified. Not ever. <laughs> so how is that boring to watch for Negan to break Rick Grimes without even touching the guy? Knocking the wind out of him and his people without even touching him. I mean, I don't see how that's boring. <laughs> In fact, that's what makes it the best season finale yet. And... And I think the season seven finale is gonna top that if you know if if it does and it needs to end with the all out war arc, you know, with Rick having that epic showdown with Negan. Now, um with that all being said, um I think, you know, you know, they've been giving deaths, you know, they've been mixing up deaths in the T V series, like where's let's get this character this character's death and et cetera, et cetera. Now let's say they they throw they throw us off quite a bit by doing that, but let's say this is the biggest throw off ever, where they decide to keep Gwen's comic book death the same, where they decide to kill off Gwen the same way he died in the comic, and that would be the biggest shocker right there. Like holy shit, you're really sticking with the original story, with you know, in in that <laughs> in that part of the comic. Like holy shit, like. That is like wow. I mean, like that would shock some people, and um, and um, oh man, <laughs> it it knocked it. That I I think you know it just knocked the wind out of me just by saying that. Like holy shit! And I did hear the leaked audio, and um, I heard the full leaked audio, 
and it does sound like um, Maggie is screaming for Gwen to where she's watching him die and you know in the mixture of everybody crying over you know over this death and um and let's face it um they can't they can't give us a death that some people are not going to care about like oh you made us wait until october to see eugene to see eugene get lucille or whatever or 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 rosita or blah, 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 blah. i mean like seriously it's got to be someone that a, a large amounts of fans have a strong attachment to and that's what makes gwen and daryl prime suspects in my book so i don't i don't think they have the i don't think amc has the balls to kill off daryl dixon so that would make gwen a much you know that would make gwen even more screwed than daryl <laughs> so um i mean yeah and as far as abraham goes i don't see him going out that way i think he is gonna die in season seven for sure and um he should have been dead by now because he was killed off before negan made his introduction in the comics so i can see abraham going out like a soldier i mean give him a hero's death let him go out fighting that's the way i can see him dying in the middle of the war with negan and um I mean, for him to be Lucille in the season premiere like that, that would be a pussy ass death for a character like that. And I don't think that's the way he should go out. I just think he should go out fighting. But, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's why this is the best season finale ever, even though they could have, they could have done it, they could have went a different route, like where it was 90 minutes and we get some screen time with Gwen and Daryl, Rosita, Michonne, while we're following Rick and following Carol. You know, they could have pulled it they they could have pulled it off. They could have gave us that awesome season finale where they mix all of that in together into an awesome blender and you get yourself a very delicious, satisfying smoothie. Seriously. <laughs> but um since they, that didn't happen, that's the way I can see them making up for it. Is us giving us some screen time with Daryl and Gwen before one of them is being taken from us. So I know some I mean that's just me personally that's what that's the way I would like for them to do it and that's what the way it, that I'm that I think they're gonna do it because I trust them in treating the character well before they kill them off you know because they do that with a lot of major characters like they've done that with Herschel where we got some time with him and how he's how he's been helping out at the prison and with Dale the way we did we had he, the way he the amount of screen time we have in him and you know and some other characters as well and and Lori and you know you know this goes on and we didn't get a character a character's death that stayed true to the comic since Shane's death that was the last time they did that so I mean that was so that would be cool if they bounced right off again like where they gave us you know like we, we had four seasons off until they um until they decide to stay true to someone's death and you're like holy shit it's been a while since you guys did that <laughs> so um yeah that's the way i can see them doing that since they didn't mix everything together in the 90 minute run of the season finale and um yeah um let me know in the comment section if you agree with that um if my predictions if yours are different tell me that as well um you know what let's throw it all in there in the comment section so if you enjoyed this topic make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace out y'all <laughs>